Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am again. Really grateful to all of you who have come from far and wide and from the people from Hyderabad. It is really fantastic and fantastic day. And now we have come to the an electrifying event of the day. And the time and effort of the months together what they have put in and have developed a product which you are going to see now. And behind this, don't forget that there is a man behind it with a passion. It's an amazing passion. A passion to create something which is unique to the people, to the customers. I mean, that's what we have, if you, if you see the, the journey of control as what I have been talking since morning, and everywhere, in everything, it is the team and it is his ambition to do something perfect. His hunger for that. And that is none other than Mr. Sridhar Reddy, who is our chairman and managing director. Thank you. Thank you for all, all of you for being here. More than controlless uh, teams' hard work, many of you have contributed with your rich ideas to this product. I once again thank you all for making this happen. How many of you are here who are from the IT CIOs, who are leaders of the, you know, IT infrastructure? Thank you. Uh, before we get into it, one more last question. How many of you have brought your uh, wallets today, your purses? Can you keep them on the tables or just below you? If you have the first strings attached to our budgetary controls, you can't imagine. I want you to, because imagination, you know, can help you foresee, I want you to keep them away for, for a while. Seriously, keep them just on the table, at least one to two feet away. Yes. Let's imagine that all of you, the CIOs, the, the IT leaders, imagine that even for the rest of you also, just imagine that you have become a Fortune 100 CIO, Fortune 100 company CIO, a company which has global assets, offices all over, huge IT departments for different, different things. Just imagine that you are the CIO of that company and then you are sitting in their Times Square office, in a corner office, and you call for a meeting of your all business heads, IT heads, to, sh to finalize the roadmap for the next five years for your company. What all the decisions you are likely to take on that day? The first and foremost thing is obviously high availability. So you have one data center, you need a higher availability. The instant thing which comes to mind, many of our folks in India also have done is, you know, set up another data center, do a synchronous replication, am I right? For a high availability and, uh, you know, to ensure that there is a near zero data loss or zero data loss happens. This is the most basic thing. You have taken this decision already. Is this enough? Your business continuity man will come and say, Mr. Boss, you need to have another data center to do a disaster recovery. Many of you have done it already, isn't it, gentlemen? Yes? Is this enough? Some companies do still take backups. Off late, everybody started putting another data center nearby and a fourth copy. This has become a pretty standard practice now. All your Fortune 100 co CIOs have already done it and you have already taken a decision. What next? Your network guy comes. He says, boss, we have invested in a 2N fully redundant network. If you ask him, is this gives me a 5-900% kind of uptime, he will tell you there are certain set circumstances in which, because they are kept in a usually in the similar data center, etc. There are circum circumstances in which we have seen, we have all of seen, right? And he convinces you for one more N. 
you sanction it because that is nothing for you. You are a Fortune 100 company CIO. Am I right, gentlemen? This is the most possible decision for any Fortune 100 company. Am I right? Now, <clears throat> your business, your CEO, your board would want you to suddenly get fatter by 10 kilos and the next year would want you to lose another 15 kilos. What do I mean by it is, they will say that, okay, increase, start a new division in China next week, or shut off a division in Africa and quickly roll back everything. Am I right? You need to be flexible, you need to be agile, you need to be able to do anything that the, your business would want you to do. So obviously you would, to, 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 you know, to make sure that you give this, you develop a huge systems processes and ensure that you have that agile organization with the tools which are required to make sure that you respond to the businesses as per their demands. You have done this. What next? You are CISO, you are Chief Security Officer. You have already, all of you, many of you have done half of these investments already. He will start with the UTM OTP, goes to the basics of log management, all the way up to, he will make you invest in a SIM tool and a security operations center to run the same. Almost all the Fortune 100 companies have done this. Maybe Fortune 500 also are there. Would have already done 90% of these investments. Am I, am I correct, gentlemen? Any more questions so far? After this, you have done massive investment, huge things. So you need a dashboard, you need a control. You need to develop the tools. Maybe you need to build your uh, group companies. You need a huge MIS, just like your CEO invests in a business analyst tools. You need a tool to control wherever you are. You can go on a vacation, you're still in control. You know that anything going wrong, you are going to be notified. You have the systems, processes, backed up by automation, engine, which, will, which can alert you. So your commitments to the business, to your CEO, you have reasonable control so that you can enjoy your vacation. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with this thought that when a Fortune 100 can do it, is there a way controllers can do something to get this, make it available for any company to utilize? It is with this thought that we worked over the last couple of years with the help of many of you, your suggestions, ideas, people who have that exposure, that we developed this product. This is a product for people who can foresee, who will foresee. Control 4C, we believe uh, this establishes a new, new category in the industry. We call it as a tier 4 cloud. How do you differentiate? Uh, I'll give you a few pointers to, to instantly recognize this. Number one, four copies. It will keep the same four copies as that of any Fortune 100 company. It will have, thank you, it will have a three and network architecture. It will have a full control platform built for your different departments, not only for you as a CIO, but for your different departments. 
your networks, guys, your security, everybody, role-based access controls given. And finally, it is delivered out of the India's only Tier 4 certified data centers. What else? As we have seen, it does everything, whatever a Fortune 100 company is able to invest. It doesn't take for you to make those hundreds of millions of dollars of investment to make, to get this four C's into your organizations. You've got absolute control despite full investments. Ladies and gentlemen, this is control 4C. We can put back our purses now. You must be wondering, Sridhar has shown some picture with all, how much he's going to ask me? Any ideas? How much is, is this going to cost? I'll give you a couple of more clues. Um, and anyone who, who guesses right is going to get a good price. <laughs> no? To do this, just, just let's, let's um, typical costs, okay, let's keep the scale aside. Of course, larger companies have a huge scale, hundreds of racks, etc., thousands of racks, that they can invest in those four or five data centers, etc. But uh, even at a smaller scale, assume that your cost of instance versus their cost of instance with hundreds of racks of infrastructure, or thousands of them, is the same. Let's assume that for the time being. Still, to do an a, a infrastructure like this, it is going to cost you 5x. Assuming, let's keep the scale aside. If, if it is only 10, 20, 30 instances company, it is going to be probably 50x. Assume that the scale benefits you all have, still it's going to cost minimum of 5x according to our studies. There is a possibility that you can outsource to the existing cloud service providers. If they don't have a ready-made solution like this, but you could configure by, you know, three instances in different uh, data centers, etc., and then buy some tools. You try and do, come somewhere near this. Come somewhere near Control 4C. Still, it is going to cost you 2.8x. These are published rates available across the service providers. You take them, you configure, you come, you won't get the all, you know, 5.9 ready infrastructure. You are, you're not going to get the... Uh, the full features, but you may reach somewhere near, but your cost is going to be about 2.8x. Any more guesses? What did somebody, somebody said something there? No? No. You're closer. Closer. Go up. A little go up. You are the closest so far. 1.2, yes! <laughs> just about 20% more, gentlemen. Just about 20% more than any global service provider's standard instance. This is what you get, a, a four copy, a tier four cloud. I know what you're thinking now. There must be, this is going like a magic show, there must be some catch. Gentlemen, this is the DNA of this company. Investors ask me, what is the difference between you and anybody? I say smart money. We have delivered India's finest and only tier 4 certified data centers, which costs 1.7x to build them. We never asked you to pay us more money. Many of you are our, our existing customers, isn't it? We never asked you. This is our, if for those of you, you remember, 
This is our first flyer when we launched the disaster recovery services. We changed the entire industry forever. After we launched this, the traditional DR services are almost getting into a museums, you know, one of the products. At least in the mid-range companies. We have improved efficiencies on one side. We have improved the RTO RPOs, gave you at 40% less. And in the process, established a company with over 3,000 customers. <laughs> Order book of about 670 crores. With 40% of these clients from BFSI industry who requires the tier 4 kind of abilities, which requires this 99.99 .99 kind of uptimes, as well as the network infrastructure that we have set up. 22 of the ET 100 companies are our customers currently. Many global leaders have already made their home in India that is control S. For cloud also, we are not new. Last two years we have been delivering cloud services and we are already a Gartner Magic Quadrant player for cloud services in Asia Pac. And many of you have voted for us. Thank you all. This award we wouldn't have got it without your, your vote. Thank you very much. It's absolute pleasure to present you this. And I would want Anil to come and join, uh, join me to uh, run you through the platform, the control that has been built. Very simple tool at the moment. And uh, we have uh, committed uh, every year 10 plus crores to develop this product further in R&D as well as in the continuous development of this product, the control software that I was talking to you about. Inc incidentally, Anil happens to be our CIO, who has been holidaying nowadays a lot. Let's ask him how is he able to afford that despite being here you know, during the last uh, uh, several years where we have seen 100, average about 70-80% growth rates. Anil, do you have a mic? Yes, sir. Can you tell us your secrets? So this happens because uh, my instances being on the cloud, I already have four copies of them. I can sustain three points of failure. Even if you see uh, the cloud console, I'll click on the continuity. We have this architecture. Now this is a normal VM uh, that can be seen from any other console. If I click on any VM, I'll get my copies to be seen. Now, how would I know that they are being replicated? And if I click on that, just like the DRM tool, the disaster recovery management tools, which are latest in, I have got not only them, I have also got a status update of my backup. So what it says is the number of synchronous copies is two, the DR copy is one, and it is in sync the, the consistency is fully synced and there is a backup copy with the last backup time. If I want a refresh, I can do a refresh. If I want to repair, I can do a repair. So with a single console, I, I am satisfied wherever I am sitting, if one of my data instances is down or corrupted, I will be able to recover it. What else, Anil? I mean, um, so this is the four copies. That, that we are talking about, you are able to do it, you are able to do the backup, you are able to do the... So that's how you are able to give, give me high availability and continuous, continuity, am I right? Yes. In terms of uh, security, because we are in the company uh, where we are providing many uh, mission critical services, you know, how are you ensuring that uh, the security uh, of these clients is maintained? Well, as far as security is concerned, this is the first cloud that gives me a detailed list of the controls that I can deploy. 
Now this starts with the general firewall which is part of every cloud. I can integrate my one-time passwords, that is SMS-based passwords can be integrated. I have a multi-factor token, so if I have RSA devices or some such multi-factor tokens with me, I can include the key as part of this cloud or I can take the built-in multi-factor authentication, thereby deploying or strengthening my identity access management. Then I have to protect my hosts which are running in the cloud. For HIDS to roll out, I will have to select which virtual machine, what is the type of operating system, what is the role, whether it is a web server, whether it's a database server, where is a business application layer or analytical server. And if I have the data, then I can even give the port numbers. For example, if this is the email server, I would say just port 25 open. So what my HIDS would do, just like an antivirus, it will put the control in place to protect the system. After the system is protected, I have got an integrated log analyzer. Now this log analyzer is going through the reports which are being generated. This tells me how many logins failed, how many people try to use their privileges but that was not accessible, how many network errors or network contentions were there, all that logs come to me in an analysis pane. On top of this, I can enable the security incident event management. This is just like my knock console, the monitoring tool console. It can tell me from the top IPs which are there. If you see on the bottom left hand side, it is the signatures of the HIDS which is being used. So what is the current threat vector onto my system? So this gives me real time information about the security and any action I can take thereof. If I want controllers to manage it, I would outsource the SOC services to it. But this SIEM tool is enough for me, sir, to manage all the threats to my system. One important question. Um, last time I asked you to lose uh, seven, eight kilos, you have lost. And uh, the next day I asked to, you know, increase 500 instances, uh, he did that. He delivered. Uh, how do you manage to do that? I mean, how do you scale up, scale down so fast? And uh... The scaling option is uh, part of the cloud customization. So under that, I have got standard instances, the general instances and other type of instances. I can, so there are packages which are pre-packages uh, delivered to me. I can select them. And after selecting them, I can boot them. Or let us say if you have a requirement that you are starting control as Africa or Middle East and you want the CDN to be integrated for international audience, on a click of a button, just by giving the host name and the origin IP address, I can select the region in which it can be deployed. Not only that, if you talk about scalability or network, right from network, I have got various level of networks. I've got a specific internet which protects my websites, which is the WAF protected. I have CDN, I've got virtual connectivities, I've got perimeter UTMs. I can even terminate my own lease lines and MPLS onto this cloud. Now to have this virtual load balancer, the scalability comes from here. I can choose either the cluster, which is just the HA of the web instances, or when I choose the auto scale and select it, and then I deploy it in my cloud, it will automatically take up my scaling options by adding the number of VMs or decreasing it as per load. So let's take hypothetically, you have launched services in Middle East and outside of India. I have the network sustenance in terms of CDN. I can protect my networks using WAF or DDoS. As well as for my servers, I can now do auto scaling so that they can keep on adding and removing servers as per the loads. How many locations uh, you can provide these uh, CDN services? So and presently uh, we have 20 POPs in India. We are scaling up to another 30 more in the next three to four months. <laughs> 
for outside of india we have tied up with a network which has close to 1200 pops so when i ask you to you know go to 100 locations or scale up scale down you had nothing to do you have put in your credit card and then you forgot about it is it but you used to tell me that uh, boss i'll deliver next week now i see him why he is in goa so many days gentlemen this is exactly what we want to deliver deliver to you <clears throat> is there anything anil that you want to uh, share share with uh, our people yeah so uh, once i configure all of them i need to control it now from a control angle if i see what can go wrong so i would have the billing information which is provided by any cloud i'll just explain to you so i have billing okay i have got the support tickets also integrated here that's all again done by various things but the most important thing to me is the user profiles that i can add for this cloud portal now what is that user profile i can add admin accounts i can do different type of permissions different type of users if i click on add i can add my accounts guy just to allow to view invoices i can add support to just open new tickets or receive and similarly i have got granular control so under me i have got various teams somebody looks after networks somebody looks after the instances from the control panel not from the operating system from outside of that i would exercise that control create my hierarchy in the r back manner inside the cloud so these team leaders go on to add their own profiles but i rest in peace because the 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 accounts guy cannot accidentally go into my vm or the vm guy cannot accidentally go on to do some uh, mistakes in the accounting so that way i've got a strict hierarchical organizations with enough levity within those organizations to manage it now not only that when it comes to monitoring from a monitoring perspective i have an overall system that i see for my people they can go down into an operating system and they can see those values so if if i open this particular instance uh, the matter so this is a linux instance right from disk usage to all the parameters are up there and it has got a detailed view of all the parameters this which is there for my technicians and then this is different for the different set of instances so if i go to let us say application server or uh, let me check up a database server so if you see in this database server i've got different parameters so it has taken not only memory but it is doing something like batch requests per minute the sql recompilations per minute so on and so forth and i have got hundreds of different parameters on which i can set the thresholds once these thresholds are reached automatically the alert will also come to me in my master console alert will also go to my technical teams so this is how we do this control from the uh, control panel thank you anil that was uh, very useful so that was a brief uh, <laughs> intro of the tool gentlemen there is a lot more to it we are conducting webinars and uh, every city we are conducting training camps uh, so that uh, we could train some of your people in uh, you know gaining expertise on this tool you, of course you don't need much but uh, um, how to take the you know basic guidance initial guidance etc one day training is what all your people would be needing to you know start utilizing this and uh, the most important thing uh, for all of you is that uh, uh, for the next three months whoever has attended this conference for the next three months they'll get to use this free of cost thank you so we have a basic uh, 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 oh, one more session for those of you who want to participate in this session any shareholders gentlemen you want to give uh, any feedback or questions uh, 
Uh, I would like to take the direct feedback in the form of the questions or some of. It's impressive. When I commented on your competitors' rollout, I didn't use this word impressive. Just one request. We thank you for extending the offer of three months free. The request is, give us the flexibility to start the date. Sure, sir. We'll do that. Yeah? Yes. It can because start after one month also or three months also. We'll do that. Yes. Because maturity of people vary, so is the team size and the company size, perspectives. Yeah? People may say, why do they need IT? Why do they need CIOs? CIOs are worried for their jobs, X, Y, Z. And that conversation only portrays their frame of mind. Relevant to this, futuristic CIO partner with the right vendor, and I'm using the word partner, where that trust, that relationship is there. Control S has been one of the brand that we are associated with. And on a closing note, I want this brand to be a global brand. So wish you success for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aman is our uh, dear customer. Uh, he's uh, from uh, Panasonic, India. Of course, he, he is uh, instrumental in running their global operations as well. Uh, thanks, Ridhar. And uh, good evening, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the first time I'm coming to this annual uh, you know, event of uh, Control S. And uh, we have been... Uh, very recently engaged with controllers. Though the, uh, uh, the discussions and the analysis on how controllers works, because Panasonic being a Japanese organization and a global brand, they always want to be uh, associated with the partners. And I duly endorse that partner word, which my colleague, my friend has ha just highlighted. Uh, that the quality perspective and the ethics these are two key essential factors which Panasonic always go for. And, uh, and I'm, I'm you know, glad that we partner with Controllers and uh, they are supporting us not only in India, but we have long vision to move to the global front. Uh, this launch of uh, new uh, features or new products which Controllers has done, this is bringing a lot of confidence in uh, the CIOs and the IT teams because the biggest challenge now when you go global is to monitor and to ensure the services remain intact. Uh, the scale is increasing. At the same time, the demand from CEOs and the finance teams is to reduce the cost. And probably uh, this is one thing which will definitely help us. Thanks again to the control team on that. Thank you. Thank you. Manish. I'm Manish. Uh, I'm part of one of the companies that Shridhar mentioned as a global leaders, uh, TransUnion. Uh, just to give a perspective, I'm not a CIO. Uh, what that means is we have already interested our CIO job with Control S. We've been with them for almost uh, three years. Just to give you a context the, for, for our business, we, our core to our business is data, analytics and decisioning. For those who don't know what TransUnion is, uh, we are a risk information company. We have files of probably every person sitting in this room uh, with us running on our bureaus on. Uh, ev if you have ever taken a loan, we would have your data, right? Now, the fact is that uh, some gentleman in the CEO or CIO panel mentioned about the quantum of data. Uh, across the globe, we manage around 2.5 petabytes of data. Uh, it, it, and that's a huge data that we manage. and. We have record of over a billion people across the globe, which is one in seven person in the world would have their file with us. Uh, and India is, is a large portion of that. Uh, not all of that data sits with controllers today. Uh, we are hopeful that it will. Uh, but the context that I'm trying to set is that uh, we have trusted them. Uh, we want to go forward. A non-CIO sent by my company to stand here in a CIO conclave is, is a testimony of fact that we as a company with a lean 
It's a force of 3,000 people. We run a data of billion people across the globe. And, and that's what we intend to do by outsourcing all our IT to a company like Control S. So, Shri Rati, for the good Thank part. you. So, as I told before, we are a hospital. And you see, my complaint is that it took me two years to learn as many words as were presented here, and now you are telling me. No, sir. We, <laughs> you don't need to learn, sir. We can teach you in one day to just to, to walk through, and we are always there to whenever there is a, any, any. Yeah. Any. The other thing is, you see, this will probably make us real CIOs. If 90% of our time is being spent in worrying about the availability, worrying about the security, worrying about the backup, when will we get the time to partner with our business and do the business transformation, do the real job that we are made for? So I'm glad that there is a credible agency that is promising to take care of these worries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm Rakesh Dhani. Just wanted to share my experience, what Sridhar said. I mean, I, I was CIO of Pfizer, which is into BFSI. They are a US giant in financial services. And the component you listed there, it took me almost three years to build all those components, believe me. And Pfizer was very finicky about their security because they are into financial sector. So uh, security, high availability were absolutely key for them. So it took me day and night to create uh, data center in Noida, Pune, creating that triangle, just ensuring everything is in place. So three years of hard work. And I think it's a dream of any uh, CIO. If this is available, as someone rightly said, then we can align with business and uh, really create the value. So I think fantastic, all the best to you. And I hope this runs, uh, I mean, the biggest challenge is to run it successfully. That's the biggest challenge. It's great, uh, this one, great concept. And I hope, uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. So first of all, congratulations for the new launching. Uh, so I have said few words already, but I have a few questions regarding uh, presentation. I'm using uh, lots of cloud practice okay. as of now. Globally, I can say GoDaddy, one and one Amazon. But so far, I have not seen the control panel like this. So that is uh, one of the biggest uh, monitoring. Hi, my name is Sakib Sheikh and I represent Swift in India. Uh, if anybody is aware of Swift, if you've ever done a wire transfer from one bank to another overseas, there's a Swift code that's required. And there's actually a company behind that. Um, and just to give you a sense of how demanding we are of our own services, um, you know, Swift serves 212 countries, 10,000 corporate institutions, 6,000 banking institutions. Uh, we're a not-for-profit not company, and we've, over the years, over four decades, reinvested in our IT infrastructure and our IT discipline to make sure that we serve the globe in a very highly reliable, highly secure, structured manner. And uh, in terms of value, TransUnion uh, uh, gave, a, gave an example of the volume of data that they process, but in terms of value, the global GDP of the world in terms of dollar value goes over our network every three days. So I share these pieces of information just to say we demand a lot from ourselves. And when we were looking to come to India, we were very, very discerning in who we wanted to partner with in data centers. Um, and we were on a search for two years and we floated an RFP over three years and we chose Control S uh, in Mumbai. And, and we were very, very impressed with our services. Um, We've just begun our journey. Uh, we're building out our, our cage and our uh, data center space, and we look forward to a very long, uh, fruitful relationship. And we are very impressed with what you've presented here, and all the best.